everyone. Um, I am busy at work today. So, uh, well, so busy that I'm making a video. I actually am like sitting around waiting for some work to finish. So I figured now would be a good time to make a video on the five best and then the five worst things about being a wildlife biologist because um, I'm thinking about a lot of them right now. So you can decide if you're feeling pessimistic or optimistic about uh, career choices if this is what you're interested in going into. Yeah, sorry for like all the sweat and the mess, but like honestly you're watching a video on what it's like to be a field biologist so I'm obviously not going to be wearing a bunch of makeup. So anyway, to start, the five best things about being a wildlife biologist. Number five. Uh, flexibility in winter season. So when you're a wildlife biologist, you're studying a lot of animals during their breeding period. So they're gonna be most active in spring, especially like bird nesting periods and all that. Uh, spring is crazy busy. Up until summer, our nesting season ends around August 15th. Things are still pretty busy around then but uh, it does get a little bit better. And um, I will also say this is Canada, so it could be totally different where you are based on your climate. But here in Canada, obviously we have winter, like in the winter, so it's snowy and like no birds are here. They all fly south to like California. So we don't have to worry too much about doing surveys then. Uh, so winter season is really flexible. So I take time off and I'm traveling. Like I have a few months booked off this winter to do a backpacking trip because apparently my idea of relaxation is backpacking through the desert all winter. Like, but anyway, so if you love to travel, this could be a perfect job for you because you can take winters off. Sometimes if you're on a contract positions, you can only take summer contracts and save up enough so you can take the winter off. Number four is uh, magical animal encounters. So I've had some of the coolest moments of my life on this job. Like walking through the forest and you're having a bad day and then you come around the corner and there's like a herd of caribou like with just right in front of you and you are like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Or you see this like delicate little bird's nest. It's so special and it just like makes you really appreciate nature and all the things that, the beautiful things that we have on this planet, which might be like the hippie in me talking. But uh, those are just some of the nicest moments of the job. Number three, I think I'm on. Uh, traveling to cool places. So I travel all across Canada and the US and Northern Canada as well too. So I've seen so much of this country and this continent that I never would have been able to see if I wasn't traveling for work. And obviously it's all paid for. So it's a really cool way of seeing like different cultures, especially up North uh, and different ways of living and some cool places. I even like going to Saskatchewan and Manitoba when I get sent out to the prairies. Like it's different. I grew up in California, so like it's all different and cool for me. Sometimes in the winter it can be a little rough. That will be in uh, the five worst things about being a wildlife biologist, but uh, it still gives you such a good opportunity to see these beautiful landscapes. I mean, I'm in the boreal forest right now and it's like incredible and beautiful and nice of a day besides all the bugs. Uh, so you get to see some really cool places. Uh, my wildlife biology work has taken me to Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, um, California, Mexico. Like I've seen so much as a wildlife biologist. Some of that's unpaid, I will say that. Number two, uh, this is actually gonna surprise a lot of people because it's totally counter to what you hear, but actually it can pay well, depending on what you're doing. So like this field biology type work can pay okay. I work in oil and gas, so it's a little bit different up here, uh, but we do get paid decently well um, for the type of difficulty of work that we do and the amount of hours we put in. Uh, once you move up though as manager, you can actually make like six figures as a manager who has like that wildlife biology background. So there's some really uh, good paying jobs in the field and a lot of the times you will just see those minimum wage positions but as you move up you can get paid a lot especially if you're working like in construction. And then number one, you guys could probably guess what this one is, but it's helping animals. Like I will never get over how awesome it feels to save an animal from its nest being crushed or being able to write a paper that influences a policy uh, in government that's going to help protect animals that you care about. So. 
that will forever be one of the main motivating factors. Like I've devoted my life to taking care of animals, uh, both with the way I live my lifestyle and the way I am at work. So to be able to actually have a real difference on the lives of animals is incredible. Like I recommend this career just for that alone if you're an animal lover. So I hope you guys liked my five best things about being a wildlife biologist. If you are interested, you can watch the uh, five worst things about being a wildlife biologist linked below and also going to be at the end of this video. Uh, so you can kind of see the negative side about some of the tough things about this job. So thanks for watching.